Hello everybody, welcome to episode number 44 of KMA's Jams, just another Minecraft series. And today we are going to be finishing up the outside of this wood farm. We need to get some stuff behind me, some glass, some designs, some of that stuff that you see, the triangular shaped thingy majiggies with little pillars. <laughs> oh, almost falling off. <clears throat> But we're going to work on that today, on both sides here, we're going to finish up this farm 100%, call it done. I have a, let me turn around and throw, I have a um, little spider farm down here, and depending on whether or not I can activate the, the spawner down here from standing in here, will be determine whether or not I work on this also. I may make this spider farm into an automatic farm and bring the products up here if I can activate it from inside there, but we will take a look at that. Then we're going to take down this mound of, oh my god, I can't believe this happened in my world, a corrupt chunk that is actually, now that I'm looking at it, <clears throat> It almost looks like this is the chunk. This is a chunk border right here, isn't it? Uh, where, where are we? Chunk border. Yeah, that's the edge of the chunk border. It almost looks like this particular chunk just loaded in backwards. How can we figure this out for real? I guess if there's coal on the other side over there. Let's see if there's coal blocks. It's just this one chunk that just loaded in backwards. I don't see any coal blocks. Hmm. So I don't think this chunk loaded in backwards. I don't think. But anyways, we're gonna hmm. We're gonna take this thing out because this scares me. I do not like the fact that I have an unloaded chunk in here. I probably won't do that on camera. But this thing's gonna be gone before the end of this episode. Eat. And uh, the tree farm will be done, and I think I might get some of the villager trading breeding uh, done some more. It seems like they are out of food. I don't see them sharing up there at all. Um, but I have plenty of villagers I need to go through. So it's still kind of a completionist episode where I'm going to be working on completing things before episode 50. Because I want basically most of the projects completed. So I'm just going to start tearing this thing down now. All right, guys, I am back. I've done some work, but I've also found some more problems. I come out my front door and there is something right there that is really, really, really not cool. Um, as you saw in the last clip, I had other world generation issues and it looks like I have more. Oh boy, this particular area, though, has switched with something way over here. Um, you'll see what I mean in a second. You see, when I look over there, there's that new chunk that's just like popped up out of nowhere. And if I look down here, the river that it has popped into is right here. This is where the chunk has switched places. So that is supposed to be over here. And this is supposed to be over there. And as you saw in the beginning of the episode, I had the same issue and I've taken out the chunk here. You see the different colored grass here. This was another freestanding chunk just like it was over there, it was going up into the sky, and I took it down, and now I have this 16 block, or this one chunk, of Ice Hill Mountains, let me see, Ice Mountains here, next to my plains. So, for the rest of this world, I'll have this thing of weird colored grass in the middle of my plains from when I took this down. So now the deal is I'm going to have to do a little bit more work before my world download and take down that. 
not cool, but not the worst thing in the world easy either. I can easily deal with it. Um, so enough of the whining about my chunks getting all screwed up. I'm pretty sure that happened at the same time this chunk got screwed up. I just gotta find out where this chunk was stolen from because there's a hole somewhere else in my ice plane world or my ice mountain world. So I um, started and I finished this row, this column of stuff. And this column of stuff is done now too for the entrance. Let me go in there so you can see a little better. So I initially added this and that. Kind of marrying the side, mirroring, not marrying, <laughs> and um, I was doing that for here also. You see how I have this setup, and it's the same setup over here. So this side is all done. So basically, all I have to do is this side over here. It, it. I don't even have ender pearls on me. I'm having some issues with my world. I hope it's not falling apart because I have. The super secret project I still have to show off. But anyways, I have to <laughs> make this wall over here on this side. Then um, all I have left to do is the ceiling. And I have the basic design set up in glass. And you can't really tell because I have all these trees in the way here. Um, but I do need to refill my acacia stock. So I'm just going to make a ceiling of glass going across to the other side. And there's going to be a little design in it to that... Um, relates to the super secret project a design I came up with that and um, also one last thing is there was a special tower above that and I'm thinking I might make that special tower above that because it looks kind of weird not having a top cap on it but that is something I'm gonna work on and um, I'll show you what work was done in the next clip hopefully at least this side is done and some other stuff so I'm gonna get to work and I'll show you what I've done here is a mumbo jumbo type time-lapse for you I am collecting sand I need sand because I want to convert it to glass and glass is going in my building lots of glass and I have decided to collect about a double chest full of sand to turn into glass is this long enough for the mumbo jumbo style time-lapse is it quick enough I don't know I think I should talk just a little bit more because I do like the mumbo jumbo style of time lapse. All right, I think that's it. I've got my sand. Hello guys, I have run out of my blue or purple cl um, clay stuff. So I've come to my mesa where I keep certain, <laughs> well I've stolen most of my stuff, but at least I still have some yellow here, but I needed to get some, um, Play. And where is my portal so I can get out of there? There's my portal. All right, so we're back <clears throat> at spawn after that nice little horse ride. <clears throat> and I need to check on how this is going. I have some glass cooking um, because I also ran out of that. Um, but I should be all set with that now. And I think I have enough of this. So I am going to put away the excess amount of clay. I got a little extra because, you know, I um, always need the hardened clay. And let's go take a look at what I've done with the building. And I'll do a little building with you. As you see, I have done this one and that. And now i got to do this top part. Um, so we might as well go up there start working on it a little bit see if my ender pill skills still stink and they do yay i still suck at ender pearling all right 
So. <laughs> oh. Oh, I got some stuff here. That's good. I just basically am looking over to my right. Over there to figure out exactly. Oh, I've got everything on me. How amazing is that? Um, so. I throw down some of these and it looks like every other block it looks like I might need oh and I got some of those too wow I'm on the ball today and we put this one down there I'm gonna get rid of my, these extra little stone fences because we don't need them can't reach that I'll reach that in a minute <clears throat> And finish up on this side. Get down. Back up. Get down neighbor. So, um, this is basically the design that I do. I throw those things down like that. Let's see if I can get up there. I got up there. Yay! Small wins for the victory. <laughs> small wins, of course, for the victory. It's just small ones. And, um, I just kind of put down this bottom structure until I get to the center. The center. And I can do some of this. And hmm. I'm not 100% sure if that is in the right place or not. Actually, I think it is. <clears throat> I was thinking maybe this, this bar right here needs to be over a little bit and that these two things are not aligned together. But I think they are aligned together. We'll build it and if it's wrong, we'll um, we move whatever needs to be moved so when I get done with this side I just jump down here crunch crunchy goes to Keith um, yeah that's my name if you don't know a lot of people would know me as KMA but you know my name is Keith um, KMA is actually my initials and it also stands for kiss my butt <laughs> but anyways um, yeah so if you see me on the street, go, hey, Keith, how you doing? Because if you go, hey, KMA, I'll be like, huh? what's this KMA thing? All right, so now that that's done, um, the easy part, this is, do I put the slab on top? I do, okay. So this is basically what I do. Jump, jump up, move over one left, jump, oh, hit my head. There we go. Unhit my head now. Hey, <clears throat> then we go to the next one. Start with the blue, back with the other thing. Just invert. I start with the blue, glowstone, blue, diorite, bird poop, little capper, blue, glowstone, blue, diorite, capper. <laughs> so it's pretty easy to actually build this, and I kind of wanted to at least build one of these little structures on camera just to show you I've done it on stream and um, been kind of prolific at building these because I've built so many of these little structures uh, they're all a little bit different but um, for the most part they're pretty sane I'm gonna actually fin what 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 happened there hmm let's see I'm Am I off one? Where's the actual center? Oh, this. The, so that was right. What's going on here? Okay. I. Something was going on there. Maybe I had it in the wrong place. I'm not sure. What is that? That's three high, so. We are gonna go jump, a uh, jump, jump. There we go. Then we can continue with my. Blue, glowstone, blue, diorite, kappa, kappa, <laughs> yeah, crunch, so going down the other side, I, I go crunchy a lot, and, I can throw that down, I might as well get on this side because we're going to go crunch a second, one, two, three, get those in before I don't want to come up here just specifically to put those two things in you know how it is kappa so blue glow glow 
blue. No, 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 no kappa yet. No kappa yet. Premature kappa. Not allowed with the premature kappa. We got the diorite, then the kappa. <laughs> yeah. Um, weird mood this morning. Just bear with me. <laughs> I'd rather let the weirdness out than keep it contained. And I'll make the top later. Not during this little segment. And kappa! So now we got this all set up. Um, so I'm gonna go down here and. Uh, hey. Hmm. And I need to put. I'll just make a little thing like this. I need to put. Hey! Okay, I'll make a little thing like this. The pillars on these things. So this one's gonna be too high. Where's my pillars? One, two. This guy is gonna be three high. One, two. I gotta get over here. Three. It looks like I got a couple of kappas here. A couple of kappas. And we got the three again. And then we got the two. And then that's all done. And uh, yeah, Snuggle Boys exit stage left. Let's get rid of our bird poop. That's polished bird poop. I like the bird poop. All right. So if I go down, I'm gonna collect these blocks because I am a pack rat. Let's see. I can actually probably see these things better from over here. So yeah, that's the thing. What is going on there? Oh, okay. I'm just seeing the glass through the back there. Looks a little ha I gotta fill in some glass things so I don't have little breaks like that that looks too obvious. But it seems like this side is almost done. I might put a little cap on top of this because I don't like how it doesn't look like it's a full tower. But <clears throat> I'm gonna do a little bit more work and I'll get back with you. So I see this chunk that has been made by accident by my computer save being weird. I think I'm actually not gonna take it down. I think I'm gonna use it as a relic and build something on top. I don't know what, I was thinking of building a house but I would almost like to build this like, this is some sort of meteor or asteroid that has crashed into this world. Um, so I gotta figure out what I wanted to do with this. I was also thinking of maybe even um, making a statue out of this thing, but that would be a little weird. But then again, an asteroid meteor and building something on top would like an obelisk would be a little weird. But I think right now I'm going to keep this particular one. I, I made some signs to warn people. Um, stay back. Transmutated trunk. <laughs> Microsoft, fix your game. Uh, beware, ghosts in the machine. Yeah. So... Ah, we are going to do something with that. We're not going to take it down. Hmm. Let me show you the other chunk. I, I also labeled that. Now over here, I uh, decided to put some slime in the middle of this uh, chunk. And um, yeah, careful. Chemical spill. Beware infestation. Stay back. Quarantined. Yeah, um, because if you missed it, um, this single chunk here was loaded improperly, kind of like the other one over there. And um, yeah, now it's got a different biome just in this little area. You'll understand what I mean in a second. You see how the grass is a different color? I mean, it just just in that chunk. and. It's going to annoy me, so I'm going to have to make it something that's kind of positive. Um, so that's what the chunk is. We'll just make this like there was a company here and they dumped their chemicals there and it's like uh, destroying the world. But um, I did finish the, I might as well go out this way, the uh, tree farm. Let me get a good vantage point for you. All right, so that's what it looks like on the back side. Pretty much the same as it looked looks on the front other than the entrance 
is gone and we have this new tree farm part. I made the top spires just like the front. The, these uh, little triangle thingies are just like the front. Except for I did not um, heighten the length of these towers right here because on the front they go much higher. And, you know, that kind of signifies the front going higher. So, um, that part has looked okay. I'm disappointed with the whole glass situation with this whole building. Um, and let me show you why. Okay, here's the top of the main part of the tree farm, the big part. Um, and I initially was gonna, you know, make this a big sun and, you know, the different colors radiating off the sun to we get to the sky color. So, I thought this was going to be all bright and stuff, that's why I added the glowstone in the middle to brighten things up, but when you look at it from down below, it really doesn't look that great. It's more of like, what is this massive color on top of the tree farm? So I'm a little disappointed with the fact that this didn't turn out too well. Maybe that's because a lot of this is covered up, and I made the sun a little bit too big for my standings. Maybe I'll fix that in the future, but um, over here I made... I have the super secret project that some of you have seen, um, and I made a design that I made in the super secret project for the top of this ceiling, and it just doesn't look right for me. I mean, there's a floor in the secret super secret project that goes across, and I kind of have this design, but it just uh, it doesn't stick out like I thought. You know, if I actually used coal blocks or something, and maybe lapis and whatever purple wool it would stick out really well but seeing that it's glass it really didn't show up that well so um i might as well show you what it looks like from the inside um because it doesn't look all that much better uh so here's what i mean from the inside the sun it looks stalled out you can barely see it you don't really, you can't tell what it is. I'm a little disappointed with that. And then here, I chopped down the trees. <clears throat> yeah. 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 I'm probably going to change this. Doesn't look right. Um, but, yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll do something with it. And from the inside, um, you can see to work on the triangles and stuff to get this right. I hear a, a bat. But anyways, so this tree farm is 100% done. I may um, do something with the redstone in the future because it is a little wooky. I mean, this lever works. That will put down the, the, the pods to plant the trees and put it back up. Um, let me put that down so I can... <clears throat> whoops show you what a, the water streams. I'm supposed to hit this once to get all the water out, but for some reason, I gotta hit it twice. That's what I gotta fix. And it's just one of those annoying little fixes. But as you see, <clears throat> I have all the squares filled up with water, so when the leaves are despawning and I can walk away, I can get everything to the, to the water streams, and then the water streams bring the stuff to here. I gotta empty out this chest, get rid of that chest. I still have a bunch of things. And to turn off the water, I also gotta do it twice. I gotta find out what I, the little thing I did wrong uh, that caused that. So I'm gonna call the tree farm 100% done. <clears throat> and let's go see what type of saplings we should plant over there. And plenty of acacia, plenty of that. Plenty of that. Maybe we should do another thing of acacia. I gotta do some double wide trees. Um, because I've, I've used it up all for my smeltery. And I think, um, yeah, we're, we'll do another acacia. Because I just used a whole bunch of stacks of um, acacia in my green dragon villager farm. No? What is it? The green dragon villager inn. Yeah. I also down here... Uh, I had grass like right here and over in this area, kind of like the grass over here. But at least from up here, you can't really see that it 
you can tell. I mean, if you're looking for it, you can tell that the thing goes down there, but it covers it up pretty nicely. Let me take a nap. Now that we've taken our nap, I'm just going to plant the trees and we'll let these things grow. But, um, yeah. I'm really hoping that you like this project. The tree farm was one of the first things I built on this world, and it's finally done. It's a little bit bigger project than I had expected, but I um, got the idea from a guy named Slind, who uh, does streaming. He also has a YouTube channel. Uh, so the functionality is based on his design, but the building is based on something I did. Um, and if you know Slend, he tends to make pretty big projects, so it's not surprising that this thing's kind of huge. Um, the other problem I have with this project is because when I first started, it, I didn't expect it to be this big. <laughs> you know, you think in your head, yeah, it's going to be 40, 50 blocks high, no big deal. Put it right next to this other building. But this area, I should have really planned it out better. It's awfully cramped. But, you know, that's for future worlds and stuff. I'll, I'll prepare a little bit better. Because the only way to get a good look at the front is if I do this. So, um, yeah. So, the tree farm is done. Alright, guys. That's it for episode number 44. Six more episodes until the world download. Hope you guys are looking forward to that. I am preparing my world for the world download so I can have stuff done for you guys. Don't mess up the floaty water because if you mess that up, you can't fix it anymore. That's a 1.9 thing. So yeah, that's why that stay in there, that ugly god-awful monument of water floatiness. <laughs> because I can't fix that. If I ruin it, that's it. You know, no more floaty. But at least I have a satellite above my head there because of the floaty water. But anyways, have a great day. I'm getting off topic. This is Keith from Canary's Corner. Thank you for watching, hit the like button, subscribe, and watch me on Beam if you like all KMA's Corner. Peace!